If you're enjoying this introduction to Revit, make sure you check out the full beginner to advanced level course on my website, s15studio.com. So next I'm gonna come down to a clear space at the bottom. We'll go back to our ground level and we'll create another roof. We'll just make sure that we're, our top constraint is the roof level. We'll then go back to our roof level and we're now gonna create a roof by extrusion. So roof by extrusion means that we will create a profile shape and from that profile shape, we can extrude our roof type from it. So to create our roof extrusion, we just have to keep one thing in mind. Right now we're in a plan view. If we were to do the profile on the plan view, when we extrude it, it'll extrude up on the Z axis. So the roof won't actually sit on our plan. So what we need to do is we need to change over to an elevation. So our roof will extrude across the top of the footprint. So we will select our section view. We'll place a section view in front of the building. We don't need to have all the information behind it included. We'll then open up our section view and there's our building. We'll then come over to our roof tool, hit the drop down arrow and we'll go to roof by extrusion. So in order for Revit to understand where we want our roof to extrude from, we must apply a work plane. So a work plane is a virtual two-dimensional surface used as the origin for a view or for sketching elements. So when we choose the roof by extrusion, we're being asked to specify the work plane. So I'll now explain what a work plane is. So here in front of me, I have a cube form. If I wanted to place any text or set a wall or roof to this cube, the software needs to know that information. It needs to know which face I want to apply that information to. So we use our work planes to do that. So in the architecture tab at the end, we have a work plane panel. And if I click on show, it's going to show the work plane for this object. So there's the current work plane for this cube. If I was to try to, to add information, it will only be applied to this surface. So what we need to do is we need to actually set that to the face of the cube so the software knows where I want to apply that information. So to set a work plane to the face of this cube, first make sure that your select element by face is turned on. We'll then come to a work plane panel and click set work plane. So the current work plane, the name of that is ground level. What we want to do is pick a new plane on the face of that cube and press OK. Now I'm able to select all faces of the cube. So I'll click on the front face of that cube and the work plane is now attached to the face of that cube. In the property section for that, we have work plane guide, which is set to 2000 mil spacing. So they are there as a guide to help us model so if we wish to use that, we can change the spacing and each of those points will be able to attach to. So now that we've set our work plane to that face, there's various different things that we can now do to that cube. If I wanted to add some 3D text to the face of that, we can. We can attach a wall to the face of that cube and we can also use our roof extrusion. So to give you a demonstration, we'll go to the model panel. There's our model text. So model text isn't our plain annotation two-dimensional text. The model text is our three-dimensional text. So we'll select model text. In here is where we will place the text that we want to appear. So I'll type in Revit for the example. Press OK. And we can now place it on the surface of this cube. If I come above it, you'll see that the Revit text doesn't change or doesn't try to attach to any other face. It'll only attach to our work plane. So one click of the mouse, press escape, 
and there our text has been applied to the face of that cube. We can still adjust that text, move it around the cube, no problems. We can also use the roof extrusion in the same way. So we'll come to our roof tool, roof by extrusion, and we're being asked which level do we want our extrusion to be on. I'm going to bring that down to ground level as that's where my cube is. Press OK. So there's our guides are jumping up and helping us that we're able to attach, attach to. So before you enter this section, you'll need to change your guide spacing if you are going to utilize them. So now we're in the extrusion roof profile. What we need to do is to create a new profile of our roof. And we can do so by using our draw panel. So just a basic line, rectangle, all of these options here. So if I just choose my line tool to get us going, draw my profile and our profile is a simple line. And again, the line must be joined and the line must be one continuous line. It, we cannot have multiple lines as they are not connected. It will not create it. So if I press green tick, it says there's an error. We can't do that. So now we've created our profile. We'll green tick to finish. And from the profile attached to our work plane, the roof has now extruded out from that position. I'll select that and delete, and we'll try that again. So in our roof, roof extrusion, keep it on ground level, press OK. We can also create unusual shapes. What I'll do is I'll reduce that down to a roof generic 125, green tick, and we can create a bespoke extrusion from that work plane. I'm back in roof extrusion on our ground level. So we can add, we can add multiple lines as long as they are joined together and green tick to finish. And once we create it, we have this, this blue grip here. So we're still able to adjust and change the length of that roof. Okay, so that's our work plane. So now that we understand our work planes, we'll continue on with the roof extrusion. So we'll go to our roof by footprint, roof by extrusion. We'll now pick our plane and our plane will be the elevation wall. We'll click and we want our roof to extrude on our roof level. So yes, we'll press OK. And if you can't see the work plane, you can come back to the work plane panel, press show and we can see it here. I'm going to turn that off. You're still able to set your work plane if it did not take correctly. I'm going to choose my spline tool and I'm going to create a roof, green tick to finish. I'll come back to my 3D view. And there's my roof by extrusion. And with the blue grips, I can pull it back, sit it nicely over the walls. We can then select all of the walls at once, attach to top base, attach to the roof and we can create our bespoke roof type. So not all roof types will be able to create this shape depending on the angles at which you're doing so. So what I mean by that is if we will come to our roof level, if I pull my section view over to the first roof, come back to the section, I'll go roof by extrusion again, pick plane, attach it to the wall, press OK. So if I choose a different roof type, if I choose my spline again, and if I go for a very extreme type of roof, green tick to finish, saying that we cannot make that extrusion. And the reason being is that the 
lines are too close together and the roof won't actually be able to curve in that way. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So I'll just escape out of that. Come back to our 3D view.